here it is, the Audi R18 e-tron Quattro. State-of-the-art technology for the FIA World Endurance Championship and its highlight, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Audi is celebrating the world premiere of the vehicle in Munich and proving once again that the company is ahead of its time. The year before last, we decided to develop a hybrid vehicle for Le Mans. We then explored the various options offered by the regulations and naturally also the possibilities that were most compatible with the vehicle's package. And that's when the solution presented itself to install the hybrid drive at the front axle, simply for packaging reasons. We then did everything we could to make the impossible possible and to convince the people who wrote the regulations about this concept. We succeeded in this and now we've got this wonderful diesel-powered e-tron Quattro. There are fresh faces in the sports car cadre as well. Loic Duval, Oliver Jarvis, and also racing this year, Marco Bononomi. Four vehicles, two of which are equipped with hybrid drive for the first time, and 12 racing drivers will embark on the mission of defending the title. We hope that we can continue the great story of success that we have created through the last years with different new technologies that have been new for Le Mans. Here again we bring completely new technology that has not been used like this before in this 24-hour race. And our target for sure is to continue to go on to Le Mans to be able to win. The first test results are promising and the combination of the e-tron quattro with ultra lightweight construction is enjoying a good response from the drivers. I really had a really good impression in the car. Uh, it really fits to my driving style. I was really happy the first time, and especially when the, the, the power goes into the front wheels, then it's just, you just feel, wow, cool. But unfortunately, after a while, after a short while, it stops uh, pushing. So you have to wait until you reload it and you can enjoy it one one corner later again. Success in the 80th running of the 24 hours of Le Mans would mark the 11th win for Audi and the Audi R18 e-tron Quattro would enter the history books of motor racing as the first winner with an alternative drive system.